and then the whole concept of visa regimes some of these issues that we face is because sometimes not everybody has the money to pay for a visa regime like application uh, through the visa process and then the rejection because not all the times that you people get visas so people apply once twice three times they don't get it now all that money being burnt now imagine if that person kept all of that money and just bought their flight ticket and went if you see me in the streets better holler at me seeking for a beat throw them dollars at me i don't like the feet take that away from me you trying to be like me you couldn't handle my story but we gonna let you know 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 Hey guys, um, thank you for tuning in and welcome back once again. Yes, I know I've been gone for a little bit, but I got a little bit busier with some projects. I'm a programmer out of YouTube. I do programming and uh, there's something that came up urgently. Man, if this is your first time coming through, man, they call me Jay. I am a mobile Indian, man, I live out in the diaspora and I do talk about situations occurring on my continent, man, Africa. Cause Mr. J is the son of the sword. Thank you, thank you, thank you once again, man. First of all, before we get started, if you're not done it, please, I need you to help the channel, support the channel. You feel me? Hit that like button and share it. I mean, leave a comment. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a question. Mm, to all my people from Mobile and to all my people from Africa, I want us to imagine a situation where citizens in Africa didn't have any need to get visas to visit different parts of Africa let that marinate now imagine you are from the north and you want to go down south you don't need a visa you just buy a flight ticket and you're going you are from the east you want to do some sub-saharan central africa you just get a flight ticket and you go you're from the west you want to go to the south just picture this scenario man has that marinated now that is how it functions out in Europe most countries in Europe you do not need a visa as a citizen from any country in Europe to visit now we can talk about the Schengen and we can talk about the European Union because not every country in Europe is part of the Schengen of course you guys know that now there are some benefits when we talk about Africa leaving without any visa regimes there will be a whole lot of benefits now picture a situation where as a business person, as an entrepreneur, you have clients in different parts of Africa. Like we do not even, you would not even need to be dying and crying to get clients from out of Africa. Just inside the continent, as a business person, you could actually offer your services. Like you are, you are everywhere. So you have a client up north, and you are from Central Africa, and they have a situation. You are, you, you are out there to go do it. You have a client down south, you're from the north, you fly out there to go do it. You have the east, you fly out there to go do it. West, you fly out there to go talk to these clients. Now, visa regimes, they actually, especially in Africa, they actually limit us from growing as one people. This whole concept of visas amongst African countries, it's actually at the day treatment of a whole lot of things that could be going on in the continent there are some people with passports from Africa that have easier access to some countries in East in, in, in East Asia you know you have some countries with the passports from Africa you can visit Southeast Asia visa free and these people go there you have some citizens with some passports from Africa that they can actually visit the Caribbean free and they go there and same thing with Latin America now picture this not only would that help people entrepreneurial skills but another benefit that this whole concept of no visas amongst African countries what is going to help is that of tourism I picture this if you had money a young couple or a middle-class African citizen and you're thinking about going for vacation and rather than thinking about going to the Maldives, think about going to the Caribbean, you can actually fly around Africa because we do have beautiful touristic and travel destinations 
in Africa. But the thing is, visas are stopping some of us from visiting these countries just to spend a whole lot of our money. Because when the tourist flies into your country, they bring money. They bring a whole lot of money into your country and they go back. And these people can be uh, your ambassadors. Now think about somebody from, from Cameroon flying visa free maybe to, to a country down, maybe Namibia. They go there to spend time and then they go back to Cameroon and they tell a whole lot of people. Man, I was in Namibia, it's a beautiful country, it's visa free, just buy a flight ticket and go. The next thing you know, two, five, ten Cameroonians are flying. Think about somebody from Central Africa that goes up, up north, Algeria, oh, there's a beautiful site there, and they go back. This is going to enhance tourism amongst us. Because truth be told, sometimes, man, having a tropical climate, it's good to travel all year round. Like no snow, none of that. So people can always move in and out of countries. And then the whole concept of visa regimes, some of these issues that we face is because sometimes not everybody has the money to pay for a visa regime, like application, uh, through the visa process, and then the rejection. Because not all the times that you people get visas, some people apply once, twice, three times, they don't get it. Now all that money being burnt. Now imagine if that person kept all of that money and just bought their flight ticket and went. Think about that. This is gonna save a whole lot. Now I know that you know some of these diplomatic missions you're trying to, to make money for your home countries, but then think about the, the perspective of people just coming to your country and rather than burning like say 500 US dollars or 1000 US dollars just trying to apply for visas they bring that money and they burn, they burn that money in your own touristic industries accommodation, traveling around man, um, tour packages and think about that, think about how limitless a whole lot of these African citizens will feel like and I would say lastly but not the least, if this whole concept of no visas amongst African states could actually come to fruition, because we've seen a couple of countries already doing that, if this could come to fruition, man, we are all going to know about Motherland. What do I mean by that? Any person who travels to one African country, now we have YouTube, hell. If I travel to one country, I'm going to put it on here and you will see it. Look at what some of these African YouTubers are doing. Talk about the water Maya. Talk about the Tayos. There's a whole lot of them that be travel, man. Man, there's a whole lot. Now picture if that the horizon was broadened by canceling and taking away all these visa regimes. A whole lot of African YouTubers, a whole lot of people will be traveling and they will be posting online and we will be seeing this. Now we are not seeing all of these things because we have these visa regimes that is disturbing all this thing. So this is my take before I end this. To all African leaders, you guys keep preaching about Africa uniting, us being one power, one, one mouth, us being one people cancel these visa regimes so that citizens from different countries around Africa can move around and get to know your culture and get to you know be ambassadors for your own countries just try this for maybe 10 years and you see the impact it's gonna be a whole lot think about the jobs that you guys are going to fill the talents that you guys are gonna get somebody a company can be out in Nigeria and recruit somebody out there in, in Tanzania and they just and they go I mean, without the visa prospect of it, somebody can leave one part of Africa and goes and attend an interview for a you know, bro. There is a whole lot that we can benefit from our own selves. You feel me? That's my time. Leave a comment what you think about this whole concept of canceling visas for all African countries or all African citizens can travel around Africa visa free. That's a wish I hope that would manifest, but I want to hear from you. I'm out here. Creation, reaction, God Big up TRP family Mr. J, I see you I know some artists don't do this God bless you and your families